dog. Cause this nigga is like the stature. You know, I can see why the nigga was not afraid to reset him. Cause they was packing too. Not only was he's a man of stature, bro. He he was packing his shit too, bro. Pause. And and I see that they bust back. They shooting niggas through the cheeks, niggas in the knees, and even the police. That's what they ain't talking about. One of the officers shot. And I don't know if she hit one of the guys or not, but we seen that. And I think it, they did. They just didn't want to put it in the papers because Chicago got their own BLM shit going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole lot with Mary Lori Lightfoot. But but we know the... <clears throat> we gonna roll this ass out real soon on my mama. Right up, big ass backwoods, big ass backwoods. We gonna roll his ass up. Copyright disclaimer: This video is under the Fair Usage Act. Also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the video as the video is about to begin and end. All right, I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. With this little Reese shooting situation and getting his ass beat, educational purpose, I'm seeing a lot of people, not just only woofing, but, and they doing good jokes too. I'll keep it a stack with y'all. I done seen a couple of things that make you giggle a little bit. I, I ain't a fake one. I done laugh even at the, the clown that you call 6ix9ine. He has some good ones in there, bro. I like giving it up. But I'm seeing people taking it extra, extra left. You know what I mean? I mean, Lil Reese's situation already went left, but now cats and folks in them is taking it above a notch. Like, they taking his street status away. Folks in them is like, he's always being done with. You know, they they, they saying the, the mo. They like, he got his ass beat. He's a frail dude without that whammy or his boys. He's really a nut. Like, people really going in, though. And some are actually making good points that make you sit back and, and, and go, huh? But it makes you go, I can see their perspective, you know what I mean? If you were thinking, man, and you really wanna go towards wisdom, no matter how many, how ignorant all of us are, including myself, we do have a goal in life where we wanna reach towards wisdom, you know what I'm saying, that type of insight. So I had to sit back and go, you know what I mean? Do they got a point? But then I gotta look at the life itself, and I've been through life, and I gotta like, man, rewind that, bro. You can't just take that man's stripes away because this situation happened in Lil Reese. In fact, that's part of your stripes. Going through, bro, this is part of the street, bro. Whether he tried to steal the SRT, Durango, or whatever or not, or it was his home, and even some of the conspiracies, educational purpose about it that I alleged and, and, and gave out already in several videos. You can go to the playlist and look. I still sit back and, man, like, he's still going to be Lil Reese. He's still going to be him, bro. And what I noticed, one of the videos make him look like a frail, weak dude. But if you look at the other angle where they put the cuffs on him, because the other angle at first, you thought Reese damn near died, bro. Like, he's not coming. Like, you can tell he's a strong dude for his size. Remember, he does got that. He got some type of a disease. I forgot the name of it that y'all all know where it caused him to lose weight like that. So it ain't his fault. Y'all act like, in fact, I give him much respect because to be his size and have the demeanor and calm about him this man damn near lost his life he talking to the police all chill and it's the police being unprofessional putting cuffs on him and Reese talking regular bro go look at the other angle bro i don't see none of y'all all y'all dudes who's popping at the mouth speaking like that bro i gotta salute him at least for still being who he is no matter how treacherous the situation gets a little we uh Reese keep finding himself and putting himself in that trap or in that chamber of furnace like the most high said shadrach meshach and abednego when he put the three brothers up in the furnace well the king did i think by the giving of god to see the structure of loyalty of the three brothers but the king's like bow before me and he put them brothers in the furnace they didn't bow before the king and the most high gave them salvation because we know salvation ain't back for us yet but them three brothers got it and i feel like little reese whether it's the devil salvation or the most high salvation the nigga keep finding some type of salvation because the nigga is talking his calmest maybe it's an ass whooping would do that though an ass whooping will have your ass relaxing real quick it's either gonna turn you up or it's gonna have your ass relaxing remember your mom and dad spanked you educational purpose and you think you 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 turned up for a little bit and I, I drastically out of nowhere you get sleepy and shit and your dad open the door you want something to eat and you with the snotty nose looking at your pop like no 
you think the more emotional you get, your pop's gonna, you know, feel more bad for now. Your parents don't give a damn, they beat you. Their job is to get you right. And I think an ass whooping gets you right. So I feel like whatever the circumstances of the situation, if you wanna know my thoughts will personally happen, because I don't think it's a stolen car. Just go to my videos in the playlist. I ain't about to go through all that. But what, what whatever reasons or whatever you thought happened a little Reese, bruh, I do not see the nigga looking weak in this situation. I do not see it, bro. I mean, number one, the dude was like, I don't call him a body guard, bro. I call him a body god, bro. Because this nigga is like the stature. You know, I can see why the nigga was not afraid of reaching him. Because they was packing, too. Not only was he's a man of stature, bro. He he was packing his shit, too, bro. Pause. And, and I see that they bust back. They shooting niggas through the cheeks. Niggas in the knees. And even the police. That's what they ain't talking about. One of the officers shot. And I don't know if she hit one of the guys or not, but we seen that. And I think it, they did. They just didn't want to put it in the papers because Chicago got their own BLM shit going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole lot with Mary Lori Lightfoot. But but we know the uh, police officer, there was a white female police officer with a black male in the garage. And you see when they had little Reese on the ground, the officers seen more incidents going on because more shots. But that was one of their fellow officers. Factual. Cause the dude arm she grabbed, he ain't had no weapon out or nothing like that. But she had her weapon drawn. But I don't see um, this is an L. I ain't gonna be naive. This is a hundred percent an L, gang. Like I ain't gonna even be fake like that. This, this is the biggest L you could take in life. But with Reese, he keeps getting rebuilt more solid and more solid. But my nigga Reese, at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Get the hell out, my nigga, and go live some type of prosperous life. Whether people said Reese had nothing to do with it, it was his boards and this and that. But niggas know how to feel energy and the spirit in the air. And anybody who said they don't feel it, even if you don't believe in the most high, you feel some type of electric energy. You know what I mean? If you human, if you're a human being, bro, you feel some type of electric energy. How the hell your Spider-Man senses don't tell you, my nigga? This just the wrong place to be. Then y'all gonna say it's probation. Then nigga stay the hell inside the house until you out of that probation shit, bro. I, I ain't trying to hit a cat, bro. Well, Self-preservation gotta kick in sometime, bro. Like at, at one, some point in time in your life, self-preservation gotta kick in, gang. It just do, bro. It can't just be the cat I keep seeing going on. And, and, and the niggas who's getting mad at me for telling Lil Reese the truth is the same niggas who's going to be telling you you a dumb dude, bruh. When you get killed, Lil Reese, if, let me knock on wood so it don't happen. The same niggas getting mad at me preaching to Reese right now. Because I don't mind. Because I know y'all going to be like, oh, you preaching. You know what it is, bro. My dad's a preacher. So what? This is preaching, bro. You the same niggas that's going to be laughing at this, man. You might be crying for a little bit for the first one week to two weeks. You going to forget him and go to the next rapper that's lit or the next rapper that's more savage. I know you niggas. I know you niggas. I've been in this Chicago wave since it... it, it Kind of not started, but as far as media, yeah, definitely. Go follow all my work. Not just this channel, several channels I got deleted, but you can go to Google to find all that. And it's the same story. I see the same uh, backlash with you commenters, you fans and all, you, or you stands fans, whatever you call yourselves. Y'all the same ones hyping these niggas to crash. It's a collision course, all right? And niggas most definitely gonna crash educational purpose. And y'all the same ones, y'all hype it, y'all hype it, y'all could prevent it by just I like the music, I like, but and even if you do pick size, it could be cool. If you be like, nah, I, I don't fuck with this rapper, this my favorite rapper I rock with, ain't nothing wrong with that. But what y'all do is he said this, or you need to go do this. You literally tell your favorite rapper he need to go ride and go kill a op. That shit crazy, gang. That shit is. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, part of me do feel like Lil Reese is looking crazy though. You know what I mean? That's why I'm like, get the fuck out, gang. Like, bruh, like, niggas ain't, bruh, this like the boy who cried wolf, bruh. This is kind of too much times though. And it's like viral moments. It ain't even regular shit. You are somebody, my nigga. More than a public figure. I'm a public figure. You bigger than a public figure. You a celebrity, my nigga. I mean, look at everywhere. Your name is ringing, my nigga, for all the wrong and right reasons at the same time. Get the hell out of Dodge, my nigga. Chicago is a beautiful place. Shout out to them beautiful people in Chicago. But you, with the baggage you carry and the aura you carry, it's not good for you. And the people around you is not good. Clearly, gang. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what's your position on looking at the situation. The nigga need to get out of Dodge, man. Look, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed, gang.
Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Make sure you go to my Instagram and show some support. We rocking over there too. Make sure you support the platform, whether through PayPal, Cash App, or email of business interest.